Hello, boys and girls, and any parents watching, and anybody else who's maybe not in my class that maybe just stumbled upon this video. I wanted to give, uh, boys and girls, I wanted to give you guys a visual representation of how to divide fractions. We, we've been talking a lot about dividing fractions in this topic, and I wanted to kind of give you, uh, well, you guys are very good with the algorithm. You understand to take the dividend, you then take the dividend divided by the divisor, the dividend stays the same, you take the uh, inverse operation of division, which is multiplication, and then you take the reciprocal of the divisor, and then we multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator, simplify if needed, uh, and that's great. It's great that you understand that algorithm. Now I want to do, still want to show you kind of, to get you to understand why that works and to visually see that. So if we take a look at something, and let's just start something basic. Let's just go with 3 fourths divided by, let's go 1 fifth. Now, first thing I notice is the divisor is less than 1. The divisor is also smaller than the dividend. So my thought is my answer should be probably greater than 1. 1 fifth is going to go into 3 fourths more than 1 whole time. Now I'm also now going to look to make my model, I'm going to focus on the 4 and the 5, which in this case are the denominators. And I'm going to make two 4 by 5 boxes or rectangles. And it doesn't really matter if it goes 4 across or 5 across, but I'm going to use this first denominator as my down. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to go 5 across. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four and five. Let me just double check this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now I'm just going to close up this box. Now this is going to represent three fourths. So this box, this rectangle represents about th represent three fourths. And we're going to do divided by, and now we're going to make another box exactly the same. Four down, two, three, four, five across. One, two, three, four, and five across. And I will come down. And this is going to represent one fifth. Now here's the tricky part. I need to shade in appropriately three fourths. Now I'm going to look at the denominator and see. I want to find how this box is broken into fourths. Well, going down, going down columns, that's broken into fifths. That's not the same as fourths. Going across in rows, it's broken into fourths. And I see that three fourths are shaded. So I'm going to shade in three of the four. Let me make my this little bitter. So we have one, two, and three of the three of the four fourths shaded. We have three of the four shaded. I'm now going to go over here in one fifth. And now let's shade in one fifth. And again, same thing. I need to find where is this broken into fifths? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, there it is. So typically what you'll do is you might shade the one to the left horizontally. You'll shade the other one vertically. And we have one out of five. So I'm just going to do this and do one out of five. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look in how many, how many squares are in this group. One, two, three, and four. So what I want to do is I want to know is how many, how many groups of four I can make in the three-fourths. So how many groups of four can I make in the three-fourths? And all I'm going to do is I'm going to start to circle them. So let's take a look. We have one, two, three. And let me change the color there to make this stand out a little bit better. Uh, let's go with one, two, three, and four. There is a group of four. I might put a one there, just so I don't forget. Let's do another group of four. Hey, look at this. I'm going to change colors again. There is another group of four. Perfect square. So now I have two groups of four. Let's find another group of four. One, two, three, and four. So there is my third group of four. And it looks like now I just have these three, but I cannot make a group of four with those three. So that means I have three whole groups. I have three whole groups. And I was making groups of four. So that becomes my denominator. And I have three remaining, three left over. That becomes my numerator. 
So 3 fourths divided by 1 fifth is equal to 3 and 3 fourths. Just to verify this answer, I'm not going to solve this using the algorithm we're using in class. We have 3 fourths divided by 1 fifth. We've been now changing that to the dividend stays the same. We multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, which becomes 5 over 1. I cannot do any cross reduction between 5 and 4. They don't have any common factors, nor do 3 and 1. So I just simply multiply numerator times numerator, which is 15. 4 times 1 is 4. I don't want to leave this as an improper fraction. 4 goes into 15 three whole times. The denominator travels with us. 3 times 4 is 15. Uh, 3 times 4 is 12, excuse me. We would then subtract that product from the numerator. 15 minus 12 gives me 3. And look at that. We get the exact same answer as 3 and 3 fourths. So here's a great way to make a visual model of dividing fractions by fractions. And just to throw this out here, let's think, what if I divided a mixed number? So let's say I divided 3 and 3 fourths by 1 fifth. What would that look like? in a visual representation. Something to think about. All right, take care, and I hope this helped you out. Bye.